Remember to turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video. You know I write with a scalpel because my penmanship is surgical. In chapter 34, you can see that Sakura is worried about is worried about Naruto and Sasuke's relationship. And then on the inside, inner Sakura says, Die Freaks, which is aimed at both of them. Once again, showing that she's able to criticize Sasuke. And then she criticizes Kakashi's lateness bluntly, which is like her inner her inner Sakura coming out. So once again, you can see that she's the Tsukomi, I think that's what I said before. She's like the straight man in the comedic scenes. When the characters come back from the mission, she's she's the one who's carrying Naruto or has his arm wrapped around around her and helping him walk. And she gives him helpful advice in a kind way. And then she threatens him when he picks a fight with Sasuke. But this is because Naruto starts it. So that's fair. Then she tries to get close to Sasuke. Then she fails when she's shot down. That shows that again she likes Sasuke. I mean, but that's an obvious trait that we all know. And then um, it sh she shows self-awareness when Sasuke actually critiques her. And then when Sasuke, uh, when Sakura, no, when Naruto tries to flirt with her, she looks disappointed or dissatisfied because she doesn't like his advantage advances. So she sees him as a friend, but not as a romantic interest, which is consistent with everything that we've seen before. Uh, and then when she says bad things about Naruto, or when she she kind of insults Naruto for pretending to be a ninja, she shows self-awareness. When she starts to feel bad for herself, she says, "But who am I talk? But who am I to talk? I'm worse than he is." So, that self-awareness is dope, but it's not something that you'll see those haters tell you. In this chapter, she also punches Naruto, but that's when he lies about the two of them dating. So again, you could say that's fair, because I mean, I saw people in my comments saying, "Oh, Nami punches the car the crew when they deserve it." Well, I guess Sakura does the same thing too, so you can't criticize her for that, can you? And then she tries to fight the kids when they insult her. And then she tries to fight again when Konohamaru insults her again. So most of the times when she tries to fight, it's because someone actually does something to warrant it. Just like Nami, right? Okay. And then her intelligence is displayed again when she's the first one to notice that Konkuru and the others are foreigners. And she also tries to take responsibility for Konohamaru bumping into Konkuru, which is a mature thing. You don't see accountability a lot in a lot of people in real life. In 35, she shows more intelligence when she's interrogating the foreigners and finding out more information she also shows that she's the person who asks the questions to inform the audience on what's going on in the story at the start of chapter 35 she chokes naruto to try and prevent them from getting beaten up so like she's trying to protect him although in a harsh way and then she also shows that she likes sasuke again and then chapter 36 the chemistry she has chemistry with naruto when she when they're both complaining about kakashi great chemistry actually but people will have you believe that she hates naruto during the exam, she's showing self-doubt. She's showing that she's actually reflecting on what Sasuke told her. And that she's actually a self-reflective, self-aware person, once again. And then there's a small scene where Sakura's actually helping Naruto sign his name. Even though she kind of <laughs> makes a joke at his expense, she's still helping him. Once again, I, I will tell you that they are friends. And then she gains her confidence, once again, after Sas Sasuke helps her out and gives her some encouragement. Um, she shows that she's analytical when she's analyzing the fight between Lee and the two guys and then she rejects Lee's romantic proposal in a blunt way which is I guess that's kind of like more of her inner Sakura coming out again but this is consistent with how she behaves especially with Naruto she, she's not romantically attracted to someone she's not gonna lead them on for now at least <laughs> and then in a small panel after they're allowed to go forward she's so happy and she's holding both of their hands she's not showing bias to either one she's treating both equally she doesn't do that all the time but she does it enough times for you to know that she doesn't just hate Naruto, as people would try to have you believe. And then she's rude to Lee here because he keeps trying to hit on her and she doesn't like that. So again, she has a reason for acting the way she, that she does. She has a justifiable reason. And if you defend Nami for the nonsense that she does, kind of gotta defend Sakura too. That's if you're consistent. And then she's a rule abider again when she's talking about the time and saying that, hey, we don't, we don't have enough time for this. She's worried about Sasuke when the fight starts, but then when he pulls out the Sharingan, she shows confidence in her allies. In chapter 38, she actually catches Sasuke when he's falling, once again showing that she's the caring member of the team. Uh, Naruto and Sasuke have a Naruto and Sakura have a bonsai routine, and Naruto is the bokeh who says something goofy, while Sakura is the Tsukomi who points out his goofiness with seriousness. And that's that happened with the turtle, with least or no guys, guys turtle. This actually happens a lot. Uh, she insults Lee and Guy. I mean, Guy does look weird. That's a, that's a fair shot. And then Lee, Lee, both of them were acting stupid actually. 
because guy punched lee and they were having their weird, weird routine and whatever and then they have another manzai routine naruto and sakura and then uh another example of her being considerate considerate is when she noticed Sakura, sasuke's anger and then when naruto starts pressing sasuke or putting fuel on the on the fire sakura stops him or at least tries to stop him and then naruto chills out and the two of them kind of kind of bond and then they have that cool scene where all three of them are ready to go sakura also constantly asks questions to allow for exposition to be delivered and, so, and sometimes she delivers the exposition herself this can be seen in when kakashi shows up and they have the conversation before they enter the doors in chapter 39 we learn about her rivalry with ino and so far it's only disdain the two just dislike each other uh once again she's the one asking questions when kabuto shows up and allowing for exposition to be given and then she also notices she also notices that naruto is the one who's shivering is, is shivering and she tries to cheer him up once again showing that she's the considerate one of the team and that's that's all her action for this chapter in chapter 40 they have their manzai routine where naruto does something stupid and then sakura has a serious reaction that makes the action even funnier and she chokes him and then she even calls him a friend she says pay no attention to my friend hmm almost sounds like they're friends who knows and then uh when kabuto falls down she goes to support him she puts her hand verbally and physically as you can see she puts her hand on him again she's like the considerate the healing motherly person of the team and people just don't notice that they'll tell you oh sakura's just a a brat she's a a bunch of swear words uh she makes sure if people are all right and she's always supporting them like she was she was carrying naruto in the chapter before she was giving him advice here she's trying to help Nar help kabuto up she's the first person to get to him and it's also very poetic that she becomes a healer because when you look at all these things this seems like things that a healer would do at least character wise it seems like that's the character of a healer so I, I, that's that's good writing that i only realized after rereading this uh she's the one asking questions again when the test comes up and she's also the one analyzing the problem analyzing the whole test situation she has a lot of thought bubbles here so again it shows that she's the smart one this chapter shows that she's the caring one it shows that she's the smart one it shows that she's the sukomi in naruto's manzai routine and the manzai routine with naruto she has very consistent character traits and is a great character i might add and then in chapter 41 while she's doing well on the test she's actually worrying about naruto i mean you could argue that she's just doing it for her own self-preservation but i think it's more than that considering all that we've seen so far uh she's smart enough to answer the nearly impossible questions because like everyone's talking about how this test is just impossible and like everyone had to cheat except for sakura and the people who were planted as spies that you're supposed to cheat off of um in chapter 42 she finishes the test alone what a goat respect sakura and then in chapter 43 when she believes that naruto is about to give up she has sympathetic words towards not she's sympathetic towards naruto and she's actually ex accepting of him raising his hand and she even expects it and she's willing to put the success of her own career beside to the side so that naruto can fulfill his dreams in the future isn't that just selfless but you won't hear the haters or even the casual naruto fans pick up on that or even notice that because they're too they're too drowned in the opinions of other people and they're too brainwashed because all the old all the old naruto fans are doing all the brainwashing and saying oh, sakura sucks and all the new fans they come in in the fandom and everyone's already saying sakura sucks and they just jump on the train and then after he gives his speech she's happy for him so it's not self-preservation as you can see she was willing to give up her own preservation for the success of naruto great person chapter 44 uh she's asking questions again allowing exposition um she does the manzai again where naruto's like you know i kind of figured that was it and then she says you are so full of it uh let's see and then she also plays a Sukomi to Anko when Anko shows up and does her extravagant stuff. And then she's saying that they remind her of Naruto. Of Naruto. And then uh, that's it for chapter 45. Let's go to 46. Uh, she's cautious when she sees Orochimaru do his tongue thing. Orochimaru and Anko do their tongue thing. <laughs> and she says that they're weirdos in 45 when all the teams are set up. She says, oh please, when Naruto's acting all confident another manzai routine 
and then in 46 she's cautious again she's saying did you guys hear something or maybe overly cautious and then another manzai routine with naruto about to pee in front of her and then her smacking him but then she says some disgusting stuff hold on is it here yeah she said if it were sasuke on the other hand no that's that's messed up I'm, i can't defend her for that she gotta take an l on that one that's inner sakura being a pervert there um and then when sasuke b slaps naruto backhands him she actually criticizes him and she says that's way over the top way over the top she shows worry for her teammates when they're in danger specifically sasuke in this case and then she's actually shows that she's against killing she kind of shows that she's against killing people because when sasuke stabs her stabs the opponent obero i believe she says sasuke and she looks very shocked and then sasuke has to give in gives his reasoning for why he did that and then when they come up with a plan she insults naruto for his intelligence i mean you can argue whether that's fair or not and then uh when they get split up she remembers the password once again showing her intelligence and then when sasuke attacks naruto she criticizes him again and she, she actually she showed faith in naruto because she believed him when he got the password right and she's like what are you doing so it's showing that she's capable of criticizing sasuke's actions and it shows that she doesn't accept everything that sasuke does she's not just a blind meat writer as people would have you believe and then in chapter 47 in chapter 47 she worries about sasuke's state and actually analyzes him saying that she's never seen him like this once again showing that she's considerate i don't think any of the other teammates would be picking up on things like that um and then in 48 she actually praises naruto which she did in the first volume as well showing that she's capable of giving naruto his his flowers when he deserves it but when naruto punches sasuke she questions that showing that she doesn't like her teammates fighting she's able to criticize both sides for punching each other when she thinks it's unreasonable when sasuke is getting injured she shows worry for him showing that she cares about him as people all people would tell you otherwise chapter 49 she continues to show worry for naruto and even saves him when he's falling down respect sakura and then she criticizes naruto i mean she criticizes sasuke she has that whole speech saying that naruto is not a coward implying that sasuke is a coward that was dope and then when sasuke gets bitten she shows worry about him again and in chapter 50 she goes on to again show physical and verbal support they hold hands i'm sure shippers were freaking out over that but once again she's consistent in her character that's very healer like very poetic that she becomes a healer and then she panics and breaks down under pressure which is understandable since she's supposed to be like the, the every man of the team like both of the both of the powerhouses on the team are just knocked out and she's not a powerhouse she's the only one left in a forest all alone very understandable but then at the end she gets it together and gets her resolve back uh she's the one taking care of them she has towels on their foreheads she, she's paying attention to the breathing and the fever once again foreshadowing her becoming a healer or i i think so even if it wasn't intentional and then she says i've got to protect them showing her resolve being hardened and then chapter 51 the last one i'll be looking at today she's re-washing the towels taking care of them keeping herself awake you gotta respect sakura she's even keeping a weapon on her staying prepared and then when the squirrel comes she throws it at she throws a shuriken a kunai at, at it because she notices the paper bomb showing that she's analytical she's what's the word perceptive there we go she's perceptive smart character respect sakura and protect shonen women um and then uh when dozu and the team show up team dozu shows up she's telling them to go away but then they're like nah we want smoke and then as they're approaching she leaves red herrings on them she leaves red herrings on the ground and dozu's like oh i noticed the traps this was so obvious and then she starts looking like she's actually afraid but then when they jump they try to jump her she unleashes another trap on them and they get they actually fall for the trap and dozu has to use his powers to get through it so she was showing that she was smart enough to outsmart them and she had a whole red herring and fake act to trick them into thinking that they'd actually won that's intelligence right there uh, that's where i'll stop uh protect shonen women respect sakura she's a she's a consistent character as i said she's she's the caring person of the group she's like the healer physically and emotionally at the moment um she has a manzai role with naruto where naruto will do something stupid and she'll point it out she's the analytical person of the group she's like the smartest one able to complete the test by herself she's the one who's asking the questions asking when when she doesn't know or when the audience and the characters don't know and she's she's like a tool for exposition and yeah it's very consistent she's a very consistent character so far and she's actually a good character i would argue that she's a good character she does not hate naruto she doesn't like his advances romantic advances and she's willing to insult him 
but they're like brothers and sisters like you insult your close friends you insult your brothers but it's just jokes it's not like she actually hates him despite her saying that that's not what she actually meant as you can see through her actions uh protect shown in women thank you for watching please like comment share subscribe and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word all important links will be in the description.